Hi folks, so why use symmetry when you're drawing on your phone? Well, if you watch any of my phone drawings, I've got, you know, quite a few up there now. Yeah, I use symmetry when I'm drawing on my phone quite a bit. And the reason for that is, well, I draw on my phone for my daily practice. You know, it's, I say to get in at least two hours drawing practice a day, and that's outside of commissions and everything else. That's just two hours of sketching practice to kind of build on, you know, whatever talents you have and you know just outside of whatever you normally draw so draw things that you don't normally draw what I tend to do is I just start drawing I don't even know what I'm going to draw I just start drawing this is a great way to kind of throw yourself off you of your balance you kind of train yourself to draw without thinking it's a great way, especially if you want to be a concept artist, of coming up with new ideas. Here what you can see me drawing is a spaceship. I didn't even know I was going to draw a spaceship. I just started drawing circles and then it felt like the kind of engines on the back of a craft. So I just kind of went with it. Symmetry is great because you see patterns evolve and take shape. One of the kind of things that I kind of fall back on a lot is faces. So you start to draw a couple of lines and then boom, you can see eyes. Now the human brain is geared to kind of recognize faces and shapes within everything, within clouds, within, you know, brick walls, everything. So yes, of course, faces is, there's something you naturally go towards. But if you turn symmetry on in any of the applications, here I'm using Infinite Painter. I also use Sketchbook Pro as one of the apps that I use on my phone. But most of the good ones have symmetry in and you can turn it on vertical, horizontal, both. You can come up with some really interesting shapes quickly. If you've got 10 minutes to draw, 20 minutes to draw, even an hour to draw in a nice long car journey, you can come up with some really interesting stuff. So using symmetry is a really good way of just starting off a sketch or even just allowing yourself to do something a little more detailed in less time. If you do watch my channel, then you'll see that sometimes some of the sketches I throw down are a little rougher than I'd like. Some of them, actually, yeah, I'm even impressed that I come up with, you know, some of these things on such a small screen. Okay, they're not up to the quality of my commission work. If you haven't seen that yet, go and check out my website. That's lawrenceman.co.uk. But yes, I'm never going to be able to do commission work on the tiny, tiny mobile phone. But, you know, that's why I have a um, massive Wacom Cintiq. But the Wacom S Pen on the Samsung Note 8 that I'm using at the moment is brilliant for doing my daily sketching on. There's the Note 10 that I haven't upgraded to uh, yet. But then again, we've got the Huawei uh, Mate 20X, is it, that's coming out soon. So, you know, that's another phone with a stylus that, you know, that's there. So, um, I, I, when I was at IFA, I, I had another little play on the Note 10, and they had no drawing software on it. So, a uh, little disappointed at that. Went over to Huawei. Did they have anything? No, they didn't even have the new phone there. So, I was really disappointed at that. But, as the channel grows, we'll hopefully get to look at more of those very, very soon. So, make sure to subscribe, comment below, and, you know, click that little notification bell. So, obviously, don't use symmetry for the whole of the drawing. Make sure to turn it off at some point and make some differences on either side just to make it the whole thing feel a bit more organic. Right, and that's about it. You keep being creative, and I will see all of you later. Have a wonderful day. Ciao for now. Make sure to subscribe.